Hello, this is an informational video on the basics of LandPin. After you sign up and your LandPin vendor profile is approved, you will need to sign in on LandPin.com with the information that you use to create your vendor profile. If you ever forget your password, you can reset it yourself here using the Lost Your Password function. After you log in, you will be brought to a main landing dashboard where we will share notes, instructions, updates, and the like. One thing to notice is this buoy in the bottom right hand corner. If you click on it, you can type words or a question and it will search the help documents that we've made available to you. So let's search guidelines. It brings up relevant articles, like here you can see the publishing guidelines. If you select it, it will show you the exact criteria that we use when approving postings. Keep in mind that all submissions will be approved within 48 hours. If you can't find the answer to your question, you can always choose to send a message and it will go directly to our support team. You can access this buoy on the same spot on every page of the site. To manage your LAN pin, you will need to use the account dropdown. The first option is welcome, which is the main page we are on now. The next page is Manage Listings. If you have any properties, they will already be listed here. This is where you can see the statistics for your properties. First is Drafts, which is any that you have saved and not yet submitted to LandPin for approval. Pending is any properties that you have submitted to LandPin for approval and have not yet been approved and published shows you the amount that you have already submitted for approval and have been approved. The published are live on the site. Down here you can see how many people have viewed your properties and this is how many people have emailed you from the link on the LandPin site. To post a property, select New Listings. You'll be brought to this page. Here is where you fill in the property information. First is the general information for the property. One cool thing to note is that you can set a sales price. So say your property is $100, but you want to have a sale for $50. You can schedule this sale and it will automatically update with a sale beginning and end dates on the land pin site live. Next is the details. Then the utilities. miscellaneous, and image and videos. You must have at least a lead image with no pictures, drawings, etc. Um, when you are finished, select save and it will be submitted to Landpin for approval. Properties are approved within 48 hours, but it is usually much quicker. From the listings page, the next drop down is my account. This can also be accessed from the account menu and it's called membership. This is where you can manage your account, upgrade or change your subscription, and see any invoices. So any payments you've made will go down here. The next tab down is billing. This is just where you can update your credit card on file. Last tab is Profile. This is where you can manage your seller profile. This is also where you can put in all of your information for other websites and change your password. It is vital to fill this in as fully as possible as this is how buyers will contact you. Make sure you select to save your changes at the bottom when you're finished editing your account. The, there's more information on this in a document called Editing Your Profile that you can find by searching in the buoy. If you would like your logo, to, your logo to be updated in your seller block, please email to support at landpin.com and we will update it for you. We do recommend that for your first time posting, you only submit a few properties for approval, so if there are any issues and you have to correct them for a small number of properties instead of having to correct a large number of submissions. Thank you for watching this informational video on LandPin and happy posting.